Let's begin with the latest coronavirus case numbers from Johns Hopkins University. More than 100.9 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 now around the world, with more than 25.5 million of those here in the U.S. And now, more than 429,000 American lives lost. So we do want to bring in ABC News contributor and emergency medicine physician Dr. Darian Sutton. Told you Robach and I would not be handling all the medical questions ourselves. We did get a guy with doctor in front of his name. Uh, so thank you for spending some time with us and sitting in uh, since Dr. Ashton is not here. So let's talk about, we've been talking so much about variants and how uh, are some of them more contagious, easily, uh, more easily spread. So this idea of two masks has come up. So are two masks better than one? It sounds commonsensical. It should be, right? Well, TJ, I get that question a lot. So before I answer that, let's first talk about the different types of masks. And I brought them here with me. So there's the uh, N95 mask. This is the gold standard of masks. It's the main mask I use clinically when treating patients suffering from COVID-19. But these are still in short supply. So we reserve these for frontline healthcare workers. You might have also seen these KN95 masks. These masks are similar to the N95 masks. However, they're a little different as their production isn't regulated by the FDA. And comparable studies show that they may not be be as effective, but they're still useful and they're in plentiful supply. But you got to be careful before you go out and buy these because there's a lot of counterfeit KN95 mm -hmm. masks out there. So be sure to check with the CDC website to confirm the brands uh, and make sure that they're legitimate before you make your purchase. And then, of course, we have the cloth mask as well as the surgical mask. These are the most common masks that we use on a day to day basis. They provide that basic level of protection. Um, and, and mainly, what I like to help people understand is that these are meant to protect and stop your respiratory droplets from going into the environment and spreading COVID-19. Now, given the uh, surges that we've recently seen here in the United States and in many parts of the world, as well as this new, possibly more transmissible variant of COVID-19, we need to increase our level of protection. So doubling up can up your level of protection to as much as 75%, which is a significant increase. So I'd recommend layering up before doing high-risk activities like going to indoor gatherings, uh, entering into a room with limited ventilation, or even grocery shopping. All right, and so we've seen Dr. Fauci do the same thing, layering his masks at those White House briefings. The question is, how should we layer them? So, Amy, I actually agree with Dr. Fauci's method, which is I use the surgical mask first because it's made out of non-woven material, and I fit that closely to my face. I make sure to find a surgical mask from an adjustable nasal bridge to create a good seal, and then I overlay that mask with a cloth mask that I have. And I'll have to say that putting on two masks while talking on television is harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it well, Dr. Sutton. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.